Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? Welcome to Let's Be Real. I'm your host, Chet Hayes. (laughs) 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 From the crystal cold. (laughs) Nah, man, what's going on? Your host, Joe Mambu. I'm here with my dude. Big Sherm, I'm here, people. I'm here for you. What's going on, man? I I know know we had a very somber time last um, last week. Oh, yeah, this episode should be it was like, a little more fun. And a little you, more and fun. And, and like you see crying. what the man have in his hand already. See, all you know is going to be good. I already know. Got that gin and tonic. <laughs> this is definitely not gin and tonic. Don't lie to the people. Why are you lying? <laughs> you see the yeah. I don't care. I don't drink. Y'all know what I do. I'm in the clouds. You're in the clouds. <laughs> I'm in the clouds. Cloud Atlas. <laughs> well, go all on, right. my man. Okay, so this is episode 89. And this is the NBA trade deadline. Before we get into the NBA stuff, we're going to talk about the Super Bowl, which was a really good game. Yo, was it last week, right? Yeah, well, last yo, week was yo, a really good game. Ladies and gentlemen, Brother Joe brought his A game after we left. We were watching the game at a friend's house, yep. and he was on it. Mm-hmm. He knew the calls. He knew everything. And, you, Joe's, and Joe's not a football guy. I'm not. I'm not since Kaepernick, but, you know. Well, we understand. But, uh... No, I watch a little football. Like I, I grew up watching football. Well, I know that, but you took your stance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You took your stance. Yeah, but but, but he he returned to watch the game, and he was on point. It was yeah, it was re- yeah, yeah. It was a really good. Game. Do you want me? To, I, go I, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What's your analysis from that game? Cal- how the f- how the hell do you blow another double digit lead? Yo, Bay Area. Oh! Yo. Bay Area teams, they good for that. No, no. <laughs> the hell with the Bay Area teams. <laughs> Three one. No, 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 no. I'm just talking about pure coaching. How the flying frig are you up ten? And again, you do the same. F- I'm trying not to curse here. It's all right. Cause I've been told I my, I curse a Anytime little bit too I much. See, yeah, yeah. I heard. I was, I was told people I, who watch the show. show they too. say I curse too much. I was I like, am. you watch it, but do you subscribe? <laughs> ah, there you go, my man. There you, you know go. Saying? There you go. Don't tell me unless you hit so, that that's button. Like, that's right. Subscribe. Word up, please. But that, I'm, I'm saying, go ahead. how the hell do you lose a temp a, again? This is this is showtime. Yeah. And I and I told people, my homies. No, no, my homie, my homies. I don't care. Yeah, it's showtime to me. Yeah, because when it was on the line, he did it again, and that was after the penalty. Two that drives. You, two, yes. and that's after after you after the um the uh Kelsey penalty. I hated that penalty. And I, and, I, and we were trying to explain to Joe. Joe, he has to turn the DB. Has I get to, it. The DB has to turn around, Joe. No, so my, he has to. So I, this is the thing I get right. Mm-hmm. I understand the rule, mm-hmm. right? What I'm saying is, is that that play came out so quickly, right? Like, it wasn't... It didn't take them long to score, right? It Mm -hmm. was about... They were kind of in the red zone on that play, right? A little bit outside the red zone. But what... Hold on. Marcus Brady, as we see see on the cam here, Honey Badger did his thing out there. Shout out to Tyron Matthew. He did, he did. He's now a Super Bowl champion. Continue. Were. So, my thing was... I get what... I get what the rule is. And I'm not arguing your point about the rule. If that's the rule, then obviously it is what it is. It's a penalty call. Right. But I just feel it wasn't enough time for him to turn around. Dude, but, right? the, but the rule, but the letter of the law says you have to turn around. And if he just turns around, yeah, it's it, good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I don't like the rule because I felt like there wasn't enough time for him to turn around. It don't right? matter about the time, bro. If you you, you have to turn like, around. What was it? Just like it was like a, a, a what? Like a fade route? It was a fade. Yeah, it was a fade. And I just like... Like, I get it. He did constrict Kelsey from getting his left arm around the ball. But I'm like, bruh, that's what you're supposed to do. You supposed to leave, Once the receiver eyes get big, right, mm-hmm. you're supposed to play the, play the ball. And to Marcus Brady's point, once he threw the ball, he knew he wasn't going to turn. Because once you throw a fade, yeah, yeah, once you yeah. throw a fade, you're out of position. Yeah, yeah. You're totally out of position. But I, I get I why like, you're mad. Yeah. I get why you're mad, but yeah. it's the letter of the law. I don't like the rule, but I get the rule. But after that play happened, Brother Joe said, and I and I yep. was there. He yep. said, "Yo, game over." I said, game, "Yo, they ain't they they not going." I was like, "Yo, Mahomes." I said, "Because what, what we said in the podcast was, I said, Mahomes, he has yet to throw an interception in the right. postseason, right? Right. He got two of them out the way. Whew. He got two, and it looked like it was over. I'll... But once that penalty happened, I was like, "Listen, Mahomes ain't a dude that's gonna flake twice, right? And he had two drives." 
came back down and scored on both of them drives like they was nothing. I think it was like about six or seven minutes left on the clock, right? It was 6.30 when all this thing started Damn, to happen. See, better than me. That's why. One and two punch like Kobe and Shaq. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, all right, go ahead. Yeah, no, but. but my thing is, Jimmy G had a chance to win the game. Mm. And for the life of me, mm. how the hell you overthrow yes. that type of pass? I can make that pass. Under pressure. And, and that's what that's the difference. You ain't Brady, my man. I hate to say it. You ain't no false goat. You're not a false goat. Because Yo. the false goat would have made that play. You know what? I'm not going to lie to you. He would have made that yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was a little bit of nerves, though. Right? Because it's like he over he overthrew it by a lot. Like, he overthrew him by at least he, about like three yards. Fuck that. He, I'm, I, I'm sorry. He didn't over, but it was over like seven yards. Like, was it seven? It was over. Yo, he threw it in the end zone. I don't know. I'm not good with he threw it in the freaking end zone, dude. The dude was right there at the at the goal line. Just throw it in, the, throw it in the bread. Yeah, it like was, throw it in the pocket, and you good. Yeah, he he he, he overcompensated. And I seen John Lynch over there, like, oh my god, I can't believe like, this guy's doing this to me now. God damn it! We should have went with the dude from the Broncos, who's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. What's his name? Joe Flacco. Uh, Maybe not. Joe no, Flacco Joe, Joe wouldn't have done nothing. He would have threw interceptions too. Listen, Jimmy G had a good season. He right? had a good season. He overthrew him by a lot. <laughs> but it was the big game, and I understand that sometimes during the big games you get nervous. So that was one of those things for I mean, to me he had a pretty good game from the previous performance, only throwing eight passes, right? Right. The running game was stout. He had They should have kept running. They should have. Why do Kyle Shan so my thing is they did that. So they they ran, right? They stopped running. But, but they did, but wasn't it that one play? It was a it was like it was still a chance for them to win to, to win, mm -hmm. right? To come back down the field, the 49ers I'm talking about. Uh, and they ran and, twice. And they ran twice. I did not understand not like the second run. I didn't I, like it. I didn't like it either. Because when I said to myself, okay, the first play. I get it. Okay. You're trying to establish. Right. Just trying to get something going. Yeah. You run it at that point. I say, yo, they don't trust this dude, bro. They could have. They don't trust this dude. I would have play action or like a bootleg or something. You know you, what I'm saying? You, like, I'm, and at this at this point, those were not working because the whole game they didn't blitz. They didn't, and they waited. As I yeah. watched the game, as I replayed yeah. the game now, and I watched it over, they didn't blitz Jimmy G right away. But Jimmy they, G's not that good that you got to blitz. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you didn't have to blitz him right away because yeah. if you get him used to the blitz, yeah. now he now he can adjust. Yeah. And it's not like his office is set up for him to adjust everything. Yeah. But they, they, they said, all right, we're going to hold. They, they literally said, we're going to hold this off until he doesn't expect it to come. And when they blitz him in the fourth quarter, first, yeah. In the fourth quarter, yeah. When, it, when, when, they, yeah. when, when, the, when Casey got the lead, yeah. that's when he, that's when they started throwing everything yeah. at this man. And he couldn't do nothing. Because that's the crazy thing. It's like he had, he, he had a clean pocket majority of the game. And then when the pressure's on, especially after that penalty, I know that shit was deflating, right? Mm -hmm. After that penalty, they're like, yo, let's blitz him, right? Because now you, Jimmy G got to beat us. And he's not expecting it because they haven't, they haven't yeah. blitzed him the whole no, game. I, thought that was, I thought that was brilliant That's play very, calling. Steve Spagnuolo. Yeah, Super that was brilliant, yeah. Super yeah. Bowl winning coach already with the Giants. Yeah. He, he, he deployed the game right. plan that destroyed the undefeated streak yeah. of the Patriots. God bless him and God bless Eli Manning. God bless Who him. Who just retired, by the way. He did, I always say this, he did America a solid. Thank you, Eli. Word up. Tom Brady be sitting on eight. Oh, All right. right. So that's enough about the Super Bowl. Football season is done. Is now done. we're getting to Joe's season. Oh, yeah. I love this. This is Joe's season I now. It. I love it, man. So, so that, but, but I'll let you take the lead, my man. This is your season. All right, so we're talking about the trade deadlines, right? What did you I like? Mean, the the, we're talking about the trades that happened. What did you like? What did you not like? Talk okay, to so, me. Uh, my favorite trade was I, I, I did enjoy Wiggins getting a new opportunity. And a lesser wait, 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 role. You say you didn't? I did. I did. Oh, I, did okay. I did enjoy Wiggins being able to get a new opportunity with a championship caliber team. Not this season, obviously, which mm -hmm. they're going to get a top three pick because they have a worse record than the New York Knicks. Are like, you serious? Son, the Warriors are 12 and 40. Maybe tw maybe 12 and 41 if they played a game like since. Well, they I'll play Saturday they night. Okay. They play yesterday. So maybe. They lost. The Warriors yeah. are the worst. The worst. Yeah, you ain't saying that with Steph out there, producer lady. He was out there in the finals. He still the lost. Yeah. 
Listen. <laughs> Listen. It's crazy. Anytime you need the Knicks to tank, they... They don't tank. They, they don't tank. They're like, we, aren't they on a four-game winning streak? Yes. Right? But, like, but, but, but didn't I hear like, they have... What? For but, what? But don't they have draft picks up the wazoo now? Listen, I, I I don't know what the Knicks have. I have to look at I have to look at their cache of treasures. Cache which, of treasures? What the hell is that? What they they probably don't have. I'm talking about like their picks for the future. Yeah. All right. So yeah, the, it, it, it it's look promising, but they they have something to build on now. They do. Well, they, they fired Steve Mills. I I don't know if Steve Mills was the problem. Tell you the truth. We all know what the goddamn problem is. I but think it, it's it just it, I think it's Dolan. We all know. Thank you. The, yeah. We know. We all know. Listen. We all know. This is what I'm going to say. I'm just glad the Knicks ain't trade for Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because the Knicks do shit like that. They, they would do some They're shit like, like that. We're going to, we got rid of, so this is like the Knicks. This would be the Knicks, right? Mm-hmm. It was a traditional Knicks. And this is how you know the Knicks are getting better as a franchise, right? Slowly. They, they, I mean, they did sign a plethora of power forwards at the beginning <laughs> of the season. But they got rid of one of them. Part, part, arguably, they best one. And Marcus Morris, really? who's now a Los Angeles Clipper. You think he was the best He's been the there? most consistent okay. this okay. season, right? Okay. We could agree to that. He's okay. been the most consistent. Okay. Julius Randle, who I love. Has I been, thought he was going to be something. I thought he was. But once you put on that Knicks uniform, uh, that's it, but, uh, you forget how to play basketball. That's it, Bobby. That's it. So, I like the Andrew Marcus Brady. Oh, no. Yeah, Marcus Brady says it's the players. It's, it's the players, what, for the Knicks? I, I believe uh, Marcus can you elaborate my man yeah elaborate? elaborate brother I'm not too sure what that means I mean it's the NBA it is the players but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, so I will say this though and I'll wait to Marcus uh, I'll wait for Marcus to answer but we'll talk while he's so I did like the Andrew Wiggins for D'Lo trade right D'Lo and Cat been wanting Yo, to play with each other for a while the right? one piece is missing now Devin Booker? Yes. Yes. That's what they've been talking about. My, I heard it all season. Listen, my thing is, though, they're really good players, but they're not winners, right? So maybe if you get the three together as a conglomerate, it would be nice. But, that but they're do, not winners. But they, they, that does not they say you're going to win anything. They put up numbers, right? They're stat patterns. They're like they're stat, they're stat it's patterns. Like three Kevin Loves in Minnesota. Oh, damn. Who, <laughs> three who Kevin astronomical loves. numbers. Freaking Anthony Davis in New Orleans, right? You no, know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Anthony Davis putting up numbers wherever the fuck he go. But no, this is what I'm saying. It's like they put up numbers, but they they don't contribute to winning, right? So my thing is Nick's, Nick's going to mess around and go get Gallo again. Listen, I wouldn't be surprised. They had Dennis Smith Jr. They got rid of him just to bring him back and not to use him. Marcus so. Brady, we, 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 you, you said um it's the players. Can you elaborate on that, please? Go ahead, sir. Oh, yeah. So, um... The, the reason why I like that trade is because Andrew Wiggins gets to have a fresh start, right? So he's a guy. A structure. He was the number one draft pick. He was the, supposed to be the second coming of Kobe, right? What? No, that's what people say. Who the hell said that? Uh, producer lady? Who said that? Pundits. Produ- Pundits, yeah. my ass. Who told you it was Kobe? Listen. I didn't agree. He wasn't sure that Kobe. What? Listen, this is what I'm saying. They he was- came defensive ready, yeah. No, 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 no. Andrew Wiggins do not play defense. He well, not. Listen, when he came out of Kansas, he was defensive ready. I don't know. I don't he know. was defensive when he when he came out of Kansas. I, don't know what I, ta- said I don't that. know what tapes you're looking at, man. Check this. <laughs> We've Andrew, been doing this show for goddamn Andrew, five Andrew years. Wiggins I told you that. Was, Andrew Wiggins was. <laughs> I, said, I said coming out of college. I said not in the NBA. Uh, I said coming out of college. Okay. This is what I'm saying. I like the, the trade because Andrew Wiggins, like you said, gets the structure that he need. Now he's a guy who can put the ball in the bucket, but he's not required to. So he gives you a little 15, 20 points. He's making his $25 million, right? Or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but he gets to, he gets to, whatchamacallit? Yo, Calvin Dwayne, what's going on, what's man? What's going on, What's going on? So he gets to, he gets to be like a fourth. Well, third, He's a third op- option. Third yeah. option because Draymond, as we see this season, ain't shit. We, yo, why right? everybody sitting here acting he like Draymond? Ain't shit. But everybody act like Draymond. Yeah. This is new. This is what he's always no, no, done. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something about Draymond. I'm glad the Warriors have the worst record in the league, right? Mm-hmm. Because for five years, Draymond been pumping his chest, talking shit like you the number one option. <laughs> you not, homie. I know you've you be- been waiting for this You day. benefit off the shooters, and you definitely benefit off of that seven-foot Grim Reaper named Kevin Slim Durant. Slim Reaper, my man. Slim, Slim Reaper. Reaper. <laughs> So I will say this. 
I'm glad Draymond having humble pie because n- nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you ain't shit. You not even a poor man. Like they used to be like he's a poor man's LeBron. Nope. Nigga, you not even the bottom of LeBron's shoe. God. All right, this is what I'm saying. God. Off of that, I like Ooh. I like the D-Lo Somebody thing. It's kind of spicy there, my man. It's kind of spicy Listen, over there. I like the D-Lo thing. G- going back to the track, I do like the D-Lo thing because D-Lo is now in a place where he's wanted, right? Because he was on the Lakers. They wasn't really rocking with him, right? Mm-hmm. Magic Johnson got trade traded him. That was stupid. Magic was dumb for that. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. Um, and then he goes to the Brooklyn Nets, have an all-star re- uh season. But remember, he was the injury replacement for Victor Oladipo. Right. Right? So then he leaves Brooklyn. He gets traded to the Warriors. Warriors ain't really want him because there was questions of him if him and Steph can play together and and, and, and coexist in that backcourt. Marcus Brady says, uh, D'Lo and Cat may be, may, might be the most under under radar duel out there. So I'm going to say no. Why? Because that was the best move. That was the most highlighted move outside of the four-team uh, trade with the, uh, with the Hawks, right? Mm-hmm. And Clint Capella. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say no because— Oh, shout out to the AAU um, Houston Rockets. <laughs> so, so and, and you know why I say no, I know, I know, thank I know. you. But what I'm saying is this: is that D'Lo is now in a place where he's wanted, and he's playing with his friend. Now, there's still a liability on defense, and Devin Booker ain't gonna solve that problem if that's who they're trying to acquire as their third big three, right? Their third person, the big D. They don't play defense. Cat doesn't. And, and, and marginal for D'Lo. Yeah, and marginal. For I, I can't listen. It's marginal. He's Steph best. Curry 2.0 on the defensive side, which means he plays a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it, exactly. it, it ain't James Harden exactly. type. Well, Jack, they got James Harden now playing the post. Yeah, well, apparently uh, James Harden on, on the AAU James team. James Harden is one of the tallest people on the team. <laughs> Pretty much, that's all the trades happen. Six five, he's a power forward, basically. Yeah, basically. So I like that trade. Um, because I hope that Wiggins progresses where he needs to be. He gets this season, well, this half a season under his belt and learns how to ingratiate, integrate into the culture. Uh, but Sherman, for you, who would it be? FRS. Uh, favorite trade of the... I, I, you, ain't, you ain't even look at the trade. I book. mean, I mean, no, I, I watched it, but it, it nothing spoke to me. Uh, although, I will say the Ig- Igudala to Miami... Oh. No, it wasn't. It, I mean, that it, spoke to you, a thirty-six-year-old. Listen, nigga, if you ain't LeBron, who and ain't nobody LeBron, bro. Right, what the then. hell are you talking about? So I don't know how that spoke to you. It's, it's, <laughs> hey, 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 listen, <laughs> Pat Riley's a don. I don't I, care what anybody tell me, because no, no one expected Miami to be there. And, um, so what? If, if Iggy would have went to the Lakers. It'd have been cool, right? No, that's no. not what I'm saying. It would have been cool. No, that's, it would have been cool. No, that's not what I'm saying. It would have been. There would have been a championship contender over over, over uh, the Clippers. You yeah. think Miami a championship contender? No. All right. No. Exactly. No. No. But Igu can, Dalla does not move but, the needle. All he does is takes away minutes from young players who they should be who they should be developing. They are de- they are developing. What they are you talking are, about? But what I'm saying is this: he can help them. Can he not? Yeah, by doing this. He, he can teach. He's a champion. The, They're trying to be oh, champions, that though. Shit is the, you know, what, what do you, what that do you shit mean? is the most overrated It's not overrated, shit, bro. bro. It's not overrated. Don't say it's overrated, bro. He's a cha- JaVale McGee's a champion, too. But he's with LeBron. Correct? That's the most overrated thing. When they talk about a, 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 he's a, with guy, LeBron. He's a, a guy who was a cog, he's a champion. He's not going to teach you how to win. He's how, not. How can he not teach you how to win? He's been there. He's seen it. He's seen it. Yeah, as like the 12th option. Who cares? You've seen it. You've seen it. And that's experience you can gain to the young players. You're trying to build them, right? What's your building skills at, listen, my you man? Listen. You're trying to build a team. Yo, You're trying to build them Didn't, build didn't they just sign this dude to a two-year $30 million? Well, he, didn't to, he didn't want to play in freaking thing. He want to play in Memphis. Oh, my God. And then uh, uh, Dylan, so wh- wh- all the trades that happened, the Drummond trade to Cleveland. That tr- that trade don't mean nothing. He's gonna beat. Hold on, hold on. Don't mean nothing. The Marcus Morris trade to the Clippers when there's a battle in L.A. and, and Dude, Clippers. I just, already told you the Clippers are good, but none they, of those trades spoke to you. The one that spoke what, what, to you what, what, was what the thirty against the Grizzlies, sir. Huh? Uh, I didn't hear you. The Clippers against the Grizzlies just yesterday. And mm, yeah, they lost by like thirty. Yeah. Who? The Clippers did. Are you wilding right now? I, 
listen, I did not see that. I was watching John. I, I was watching the John Jones Bones fight. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Championship team play the Grizzlies, please. Listen. I don't have to watch them right now. I'm on load management too. I'm just saying, he wasn't on load management. I'm, I'm on load watch. management okay. until the postseason. Yo. Okay. Listen. Thank you. Go ahead. Tell me why that trade means I, so I much mean, to you. It, <laughs> Why I, go, I don't care. I'm gonna sit and say my shit now. I'm, I'm waiting. I ain't scared of you Listen, people. I'm waiting for the blog on Facebook.com. I'll put it on there too. <laughs> I'll put it on there too. Don't dare me. Go ahead. Let, let, no, but okay. I, I feel like he he brings. Listen to me. Milwaukee, we know they're up there, mm -hmm. but I don't feel it from. I don't feel. Giannis is gonna be Giannis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He gonna do what he gonna do. Yeah. But last year we said the same thing about these guys. And they, they faded out. They did, but they but, 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 but they was they playing Kawhi. Out. They was playing Kawhi, All right. bro. Okay, you know, no, 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 Jimmy Butler ain't no ain't no Kawhi. He, he, we he, know he, that. He definitely not. But the team around him is suitable enough. If they're hitting shots, they can give him a run. I, I it like, takes one series. I like none in Tyler Harrow. I think they got really. I they, think they got a lot of game. And the do and their three point specialist, um, Duncan Robinson. Yeah, and um, Bam out of bio. Yo, I like, I, yo, I, yeah, yo, I, yeah. I watch, yo, Bam it, is a beast. Yeah, son. they, they hardworking brothers. I like the culture in Miami. So, so go ahead. I mean, for me, I would, I, I, I it like, I want to see Miami do it, just for the sake of Jimmy Butler, because what he's been yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jimmy Butler kind of do it to himself. He do right? it to himself, but, but he when he bring it, he was in a good he, situation in Minnesota. He was in a good situation them, in Philadelphia. But like you said, the brothers didn't want to play. Yeah. How the hell did the third string team beat Andrew Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns in practice? How? It was practice. Only bro. Jimmy Butler, like, one man, one like, star. Like Iverson says, practice. Bro. Hey, I, I get it. Practice. But now he's in, in Philadelphia. They made a mistake and kept the, Tobias Harris. Mm -hmm. And look what happened to, 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 to the um, Sixers now. Yeah. So let's, talk, let's talk a little bit about this. Go ahead, go well, ahead. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler... Is in the perfect situation, and now they're getting the pieces to make him feel like he's the star. Cause he's their star. Yeah, he is their star. Yeah, he's. I feel top Andre Iguodala now can still play defense. He can. He can he's... still play against the top. Some, some of, not all of them. Yeah. Some of the top players in the league. Yeah. Play defense on them for a period of time to give Jimmy Butler some rest. Yeah. And I think in the end, it's all up to Jimmy Butler. All right. I mean, I get. And, it. I get. And, what and you're that's saying. why I said that. That's why I say that. My my thing is this. Right, and me and producer lady talked about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's thirty six years old, right? He is. They extended him for two more years. He's gonna be thirty eight at fifteen mil per year. Mm -hmm. I just don't think for what you're trying to build, right? And maybe Pat Riley realizes they're a few years away from a championship, so they can get that experience from Iguodala. Um. But I just don't think he's worth it, right? Like you could have wrote out his one contract mm -hmm. and then and just and, and and get someone else. I don't know what the market is. I know the market is pretty much diminished for the next two years, right? Right. But uh, I I think the trade was dumb. I love the trade more for Memphis because they get Justice Winslow, so they yeah. get another young cog and a defender and a defender. So they get another young cog who can grow with. Who who who's has basketball minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Um, who can help out uh Dylan Brooks and John Moran. John Moran's a, a transcendent beast. player. He's a beast. And my thing is I love John Moran because he got to me, he got a little bit of that Damian Lillard in him. Anger. You know what I'm saying? Because it's Heart, like anger, fire. He like, yo. F everything. He, I don't care. Word. He telling Eagle Dollar, like, yo, you don't want to play you don't want to play with the grindhouse 2.0? And he, and he and Iguodala like I'm a I'm a champion, so I'm just trying to chase more, not chase, but I'm trying to get more rings, and I get it. But bruh, at this point in your career, you got your three. That's all you gonna get, right? So I love when Dylan Brooks said was like, "Yo, I want him off the team so we could get at his neck," and I get it because you know what, players don't have that mentality. So it it, it is lovely to see a guy like Dylan Brooks who's a young cat in his league, a guy like John Morant, who's a young cat in his league, like, yo, I'm going to come at your throat. I don't care about your championship. Because right. first of all, you got two of them because of the, the, the seven-foot Slim Reaper. And you got a finals MVP. Look at, look at y'all hating. You got a finals MVP because you stopped LeBron, which I think LeBron averaged 30 in that final. So maybe his shooting percentage was bad, whatever. <laughs> but, you know, to me it was just like, I, I love the fact that them young cats do that. I know we got a limited time. Mm -hmm. 
I do want to talk a little bit about what's up with the Sixers. My my pick, man, one of my picks is falling apart, man. Yeah. What's up with them, man? They don't the coach has to go. Brett Brown? Yes. You think he was just good for the process? That's it. That's all he was there for. He can't transcend beyond no. that. No. Because Ben Simmons still can't freaking shoot. What's yeah, word? If Mark How you not shooting a three pointy with your wide open, bro? Yo, I went to Philly and the the first three he hit. I was there for when he hit. How the many first did he three, take? He took six this wow. whole season. <laughs> he has attempted six. I think Dwight Howard has hit more threes than Ben. That's Simmons a goddamn shame. Yeah. That's a goddamn shame. Six this entire season, bro. So you mean to tell me Brett Brown can't sit there and get? See, the, the, the people say coaches don't matter. Yes, they do. To a degree, because mm-hmm. certain players respect certain coaches. Yeah, I don't. They've lost the respect for the coach. He to was, me, you know what it was. Uh, he he uh, was good uh, for the process, right? And on top of that, the players have to take accountability for what they're doing as well. So I don't think it's fully Brett Brown, though. Can I just go ahead? This is a problem with. I I, I think it's more Elton Brand, right? If you look at the if you look at the because he's GM for the Sixers. If you look or a team president, whatever, mm-hmm. right? If you look at the roster Fultz is doing better right now than Ben. Yes, he is. And because well, no, 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 yeah, no, he's playing. He, look, look, look. When ben is putting. Ben is doing good numbers. Of course, Fultz is progressing very well. I think Marcus, you're a little bit wrong with that, right? Fultz is progressing very well, mm-hmm. but Ben is still the better player. Yes, Ben. Is, ben is doing better. This is a problem with the 76ers. They, 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 they got Al Horford. Which is a great signing because I get it. He gave Joel and B problems right. when he was in Boston. Right. Right? So I get why they signed him. But the the problem is, is like, if you really look at it, Ben Simmons, like power four slash small four, he's a, right? He's a point guard. I don't, I don't care what Listen, you tell me. Fine. Whatever. He's a point guard. He's 6'10", power four slash small four. If he four. ain't shooting three pointers, he's a... F- I get you. I get you. Magic okay. Johnson and all that. Got you. Uh, but to me, power for it, right? Mm-hmm. A guy who can't really space the floor, okay. right? So he got to play closer to the basket. Got, good. That's why I'm considering him that. Okay. Uh, Tobias Harris doesn't really have handle. Kind of that slash that new type of he'll four. get you. He get you twenty. Yeah, he's that new type of four. That's Eighteen to the, twenty. You know, he's a six eight. I'm a six eight power four slash small four, right? Mm-hmm. Then you got Al Horford, power forward center, right? But, then you got he's been playing out of position for years. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah, he's more of a he's he's more of a power four, but. In today's NBA, he's the center. Yes. And then you have Joe Embiid, who's the most skilled out of all of them, who's required to take threes because he's the only one not really scared to take them. Oh, that's right? Madness, and he's, bro. he's a seven foot one, like 270 pounds or 260, Shooting right? Th- well, Jokic is doing it too. No, Jokic is doing it. But this is the problem. They're too loaded at one position. position. You got, it, it's like flip backwards. Ben Simmons is the, the flashy dude who can't shoot, so he needs to get close to the basket. But your best skill player, who's Joel <laughs> B, needs to go out there and, and shoot, shoot threes and then come on the block, right? Because shooting threes for center still ain't a thing. I don't give a fuck how they try to make it, right? Then you got Tobias Harris, who ain't really got the handle. He's kind of like a utility knife. He's a good player, but he's not. Jimmy Butler's better than Tobias, right? Yes. Offensively, yeah, yes. right? Defensively, too. Actually, Jimmy Butler's just overall. overall blah, blah. Al Horford is a guy who's aging, who he, is he, playing, who shoots mid-range, is not really a back-to-the-basket guy. So it get clogged, right? Those four positions clogged. Then you see why they trade for Alex Burks, right? But that's not going to do, that's not changing the bit, they No, but the thing is, they need shooters, and they're missing J.J. Reddick. They don't have anyone who can spread the floor. They just, they just cut Trey Burke. They, they just cut Trey Burke, the, the guy who could shoot from the perimeter, the mid-range game, and go to the basket. They just they just cut him. For what? And you know what's so sad? They can still make the goddamn finals. So this is the thing. That's that's the saddest thing. Yeah. The problem is, is that it is the regular season. So I'm mm-hmm. not putting much stock in the troubles that they have in, right? But because, you can't slip too because, far, bro. No, because they are integrating players, right? They just had a couple of trades. They had Alec Burks and but someone the, those else. players are bench players. They they're bench no, players. They're, they're not, but they're, you know what? You you got to understand they're guards. And they need the guard play. They Damn. need guard play. Because they don't. The good, the dude that they draft is really a small four. Thibel. Huh? Thibel? Thibel, yeah. He they, should be starting, man. He should be starting. But, I, and this is, I'm not the coach. Why is Thibel not starting? I watched this man in the NCAA tournament be a defensive star. Yeah. Locking down a lot of guys. Yeah. Why is he not in the starting lineup? I don't know, man. You know, it's a rookie. So they like, you know, they like, I don't, who, you're trying to win. 
Listen. You're trying to get up there. Put the guys in there who you Listen. know are going to produce for you right away. They're, they're, I don't care if it's in me. The East. If it's me, I don't care if he's a rookie or not. If you're if you're able to play and play to the standard of a starter, yeah. I'm putting you in there. So, Defense or offense, wherever it is, I'm yeah. putting you in there. So this is the thing, though. Like the the, the fifth in the East, they're not that bad. They're 32 and 21, right? Mm-hmm. The Heat is above them. The mm-hmm. Celtics are above them. So the Celtics is finally gelling because Kemba, they, 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 Kemba, Kemba is, to me, a better leader than Kyrie. Kyrie's the better talent. Kemba's the better leader, like, right? Just a little bit more. Uh, we're almost done. Producer, man. We're almost done. Two minutes. Um, Go ahead. The Raptors are on like a 14-game winning streak. They're killing it So right when now. I look at this, 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 this seating, right? Mm-hmm. When I look at the standings, yes, the the Heat are overachieving to me, right? Mm-hmm. The Celtics, they have really three good wings, right? And they have really good they, shooters. They got Gordon Hayward, freaking Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is transcending, right? Yo, he is becoming he's, a he's becoming monster. a monster. Jesus, and then you Ooh. and then you have Kemba Walker. Right, who's just kind of going under he's the radar a, with these three wings he, that are he's playing. He's the stabilizer. He's what Kyrie was supposed yeah. to be. And Kyrie's not that, right? Because Kyrie, his attitude just fucking <sighs> sucks like Kevin Durant. But whatever. And oh then my the, God. And so, then the, the soccer ra- continues <clears throat> with you and that man. Go Listen, ahead. And the, Raptors, and the Raptors are on a 14-game winning streak. This is how I look at it. Sixers have the best talent outside of... Six, the Sixers in the East... Have the best talent overall. Besides Milwaukee. No, they're better than Milwaukee talent-wise. Mm. The only thing is... Hot take, hot take. The only thing hot is, take. is that the the the, the Bucks have Giannis? the third best player in the league, right? Because I consider LeBron, Kawhi, and Giannis, right? Yo, this you know Giannis is averaging nearly 30 and I hear 50. you, but LeBron's Bro. 35, B. But why is he still... Do, like, just, all right, all right. So you want me to put Kawhi... No, Gian- no, 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 I'm not even listen, talking about that. I'm just bro. saying he's top three in the league. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. So okay. the Bucks, I mean, the Sixers have enough talent to supersede the Bucks, mm-hmm. right? I think so. There's not going to be that Kawhi situation that Toronto had last year. Toronto's overachieving, and I love You the think they're overachieving? They're overachieving. They're overachieving. Dude, see, but you know what? It's now consistently 25 a hey, night, bro. You know what? Maybe they're not because you remember, Kawhi did miss a plethora of game with those guys. And they were, and they were winning. winning. So maybe they're not overachieving. So the coach is pretty good out the, there, bro. The Celtics is, the Celtics is doing really the good. The coach is also good out there. You know what I'm saying? But I just think Sixers have the firepower. So we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves because they, it's the fifth seed. But to me... It's the regular season. So once they, so let's say if they stay at the fifth seed, the first they play against is Miami Heat. I think they could beat them. I think they could beat them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Unless none, Tyler Hero or Jimmy Butler is just going to have an astronomical game. So I just think. Or series. But, or series. Okay. Or series, got you, right? Got you. But I just think people are overreacting. It's a good problem to have in beating Simmons, and you don't know how to fuse them together. Well, they better tell him to shoot or to start shooting jump hooks like, uh, like like Kareem. But you know what I'm saying? You know who, who solved that problem? Who? Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson. Are you still for, with this Mark Jackson everything. business? You I'm want him saying. on the Knicks? You want him on here? Well, Listen, where do you want he him? He need a head coaching job. He need you a head coaching job. You don't like him on job. commentary? I do. But he's a, he's a really good coach, and he needs an opportunity. If Brett Brown was just for the process, I don't see anything wrong. I don't see any. I don't think he should be gone. But I don't see anything wrong with them entertaining the fact of bringing um, Mark Jackson, maybe in a consultant role or maybe like an assistant coach. You don't bring Mark Jackson into listen, being no goddamn consultant. If you want him to coach, he gonna coach. Listen, I need Mark Jackson to have that coaching job. You want him with coach as his maybe next. maybe when they want. fired Dan Tony. No, no, I don't want that situation. I don't want that for him. All right. Mm-mm. All right. That ain't going to work. Yeah. But that was a, another episode in the bag, people. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it was, you. It was a good one. Marcus Brady, thank you for chiming in. Thank you, man. my man. Thank you so much. Mark not going to Philly. Yeah, he not going to Philly. I know that. I just want him there because I'm tired of the process. It's done already. It's been done for a while. <laughs> it's been done for a while. But they didn't was, let that go. That was Brett Brown's contract, Marcus. That yeah, was uh, Brett Brown's uh, contract. Another, and that's why I said it's time for him to it's go time now. To go. It's time for Mark Wrap to Wrap it up, my man. All right, man. Well, thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. I think I already said that. If you want to... <laughs> If you want to hit us up, make sure to hit our email, lbrstalk at gmail.com. Shout out to um, Russell Wilson, Purple Rain, or Crack It, whichever you want to Let tell him. him have his Listen, Purple let, 
rain. He could fly purple planes. Purple rain. He's, he's cool Don't as shit. Don't sue Prince in he's heaven, cool please. Shit. And he doesn't mind being a stepdad. That's a good nigga right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you want, hit us up on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, Let's Be Real Sportscast. Uh, Google Play under the same name. And, Every uh, social media outlet you got oh, out there. Definitely now. check the Facebook blog. That's always Please, good. Please subscribe. We, we want to get paid too. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, you guys. Uh, have a good night, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Peace. Sunday. Peace.